3.24 is one of those stories where the idea for it really came from what happens at the end. I happened to see one day on the 24th of March a list of birthdays for that day which had a picture of Harry Houdini. It was that famous picture of him um, with his shirt off, covered in chains, staring at the camera like a real madman with his slicked back hair. I wanted to write something from that about somebody in jail looking for a way out, but not, not directly about Houdini, but someone inspired by that kind of Houdini vibe. And it seemed to me quite interesting that the story should be told by somebody coming to visit this guy in jail. We never find out why the guy is in jail, and we never find out why he's subject to this particularly vicious and unreasonable jail regime. But I quite like the tension that emerges between the anxiousness, the keenness not to get things wrong of the narrator, and the very much laid-back casualness of the guy who's in prison because it's all happening to him anyway and it doesn't matter and the very jumpy guard who keeps trying to stop them from getting close and staying close. Here we've got the narrator turning up at the prison and waiting with all the other visitors out in the rain. Long ride in the rain or any time. Get the train, then bus. Bus only goes so far. Walk in summer, maybe, through the fields. But days like these, man, ease that folding from my shoe. Buy a ride. Taxi guy talks rain, talks mud. Dirt in his engine, dirt thieving his paint shine. Talks rain he's seen before, how it was different to this rain, how it's the same. Talks rain where his brother lives, ten miles over. Talks rain where his wife took the kids out east. He's got this notion, I don't get rain at all. Not dressed for rain, or anything. Wear the same style all year through. Cold in winter, hot in summer. There's a couple of days come spring, autumn, I'm okay. He says to call him for a ride back swerves through puddles like he wants to crush the rain. I stand, soaked, in line of sensible folks with hats and umbrellas. Duck under some kid's umbrella, she gives me the burn, swishes it into her other hand, splashing me with the runoff. The guards watch from the big windows, all us suckers lined and waiting, choosing now who to take downstairs. These guys that wear shades when it's raining. Not one second shy of eleven, the braid walks down. Plastic camouflage cloak glistening like seaweed. The waterproof tab to his hat, a thousand tiny pearls in shivering streams. He talks rules. We know them. We could talk along, but that's insistence, and insistence yo-yos your ass downstairs. Rules, no insistence, no touching, no holding, no kissing. Says kissing like it's something you'd pay someone to stomp on. No bags, pockets empty, no cameras, no phones, none of them, he says, damn little music things. Everything left in the transit hall. You get a receipt. Tells us from behind the waterfall off his hat that visits are a privilege made according to rules. Visitors are banned when their behaviour conflicts. Visitors go downstairs when their behaviour conflicts.